in a prior panel, I don't know if you were in the room or not, but we had a couple from, I believe from Tennessee, the Smith couple, and the, and the wife, her car experienced uh, out of control acceleration for a number of minutes. And uh, I mean, she was literally in this car long enough. She could, you know, she put it in neutral. She put her foot on the brake. She tried to turn the ignition off. She put it in reverse. She called her husband on her cell phone. Um, and that was not a sticky pedal because of a floor mat. I mean, something happened to that car that's unexplainable so far. Now, we normally, when something bad happens in, in, in a, a, a product, you know, if there's a plane crash, we go to the scene and investigate the plane. If there's a bridge collapse, we go to the collapse of the bridge and we look for a structural defect or design defect. If there's a building collapse, in this case, we have a car that it, that had uh, uh, un, you know out of control acceleration, and apparently all that was done was it went to a dealership and they did a routine computer program review. Why has Toyota not obtained that vehicle and taken it to your laboratory and done everything possible to discover what caused the malfunction? I, I don't know specifically in her case, other than I did hear her comment that she had mentioned that a field technical specialist looked at her car. A field technical specialist. Right. That's somebody that works for Toyota. Okay. So that was so someone you said that would one person that you're would have paying fifty thousand dollars a year and they spent an hour and they hooked up their little program and they said we don't see a problem and they filled out a form, we don't see a problem. You've got a multi billion dollar company that's experiencing a multi billion dollar hit in the marketplace. Why in the world won't you get that vehicle and do everything possible to determine, you know, you know, it doesn't, it really doesn't matter that you've got five million vehicles that are performing flawlessly. If right. you've got ten that have failed, you know, her problem is not a floor mat problem. I, I mean, I, it is not a floor mat. I, I'll, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't. Well, I know. I take her at her word. If, I, if she's going down the highway at 100 miles an hour, she's got enough sense to pull the damn floor mat from underneath the pedal if that's what's causing it. You know that and I know. Now, you can't say it because of all the lawsuits. But why don't y'all get, get the cars that have had the problem and if you need NHTSA there to verify what you're doing, get them. But if I'm president of Toyota, I'm going to get the cars that we know have had a problem, and I'm going to do everything I can to find out what caused that problem. And then I'm going to fix it if it's fixable. Yep. It, this, when, you know, with Gulf States Toyota and Vandergrift Toyota, those are good people. They want to sell your cars. And they're doing this fix, and in my opinion, it's a sham. Not because they're not fixing that. They're making it feel better. They're, they're shortening the pedal about an inch and a half, and they're putting this shim that Mr. Burgess has talked about so that it feels differently. But unless it is a floor mat issue, which some cases it may be, you're, you're not solving the problem that Mrs. Smith had. She didn't have a floor mat problem. So again, why don't you get that car? It's still in existence. And check it out. Tear it apart, do whatever, and do it with witnesses that are credible. Because my guess is you've got some really, really smart engineers. Yes, sir. Hopefully, um, they'll shoot straight with you. And if whatever the issue is, it is, you know, I'm an engineer. Engineers are trained. We identify the problem, develop an optimal solution, implement the solution. You probably can solve this problem if you really try to. Well, in, in, in terms of going out and seeing what the situation is, we, today we have two engineering centers here within the U.S. Um, with about 80 engineers. We're adding three more of those because our goal is on any unintended acceleration is to be able to contact You're the not asked, Why won't you get that car and check it out? That's what I'm saying. The, the, the goal is, with these added centers and added engineers, is within 24 hours, 
we want to be at that vehicle, and we will inform NHTSA of the situations if they'd like to join us. NHTSA has joined us in some of these cases in the past. So we can get that car and see exactly what's going on. But if you we haven't get it to gotten reproduce. Smith's car. Uh, the Smith car, I, I have written down to find out what happened with that. I, I, I have to tell you. I mean, again, I'm, my time's expired. If I'm CEO and I have the authority, I, as soon as I walk out of this hearing, I pick up the phone and I say, get that car. If I have to pay $100,000, get that car, put the best engineers on it, let's tear the damn thing apart, and let's find out what's happening to it. Because you can do all this other stuff, but if you don't go where the problem is, you know, you're probably never going to figure out what's going on. And, and, and I can tell you, listening to Mrs. Smith, I'm embarrassed for what happened. And we are going to go down and, and talk to them and get that car so that they feel satisfied. I want her and her husband to feel safe about driving our products. I was embarrassed to hear the story. Okay. Well, my time's expired. And we want, I mean, we're happy. You know, I have a GM assembly plant in my district. So I've got a good relationship with General Motors. I have a, a, a Toyota sub-assembly vendor plant in my district that makes component parts for Toyota. So I'm, I'm not on any, I want the truth, and I want whether my constituency wants to buy a GM product or a Toyota product or any other product in the automotive sector to feel that those products are safe, period. And I have confidence in your engineering department. You can solve it if your legal department will let you solve it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.